I just passed this uh, um, this motorcycle gear shop that I used to shop at, um, and I got some pretty bad stories from them. Uh, one time I was shopping for a jacket, and I was there, you know, I was talking to the guy, and um, I was shopping for a helmet and jacket that both matched. I wanted white and black, just like my bike. Uh, this was last year. Um, you know, the guy showed me some really nice jackets. He showed me some really nice helmets. So I was like, okay, this is cool. Now I know what's out here. Uh, but I went on Amazon and I had a $30 Amazon gift card and I found out my helmet would be cheap if I bought it on Amazon. So I went online and purchased it through Amazon instead of this dude over here. And I go back uh, a day or two later to buy the gloves and buy the jacket. And the dude starts cussing me out because I bought the fucking helmet online. He's like, we ain't no trial store. I was like, fuck you and your trial store, man. I'm here to buy $120 gloves. I'm sorry if I didn't buy your $150 helmet earlier, dude. Come on, you're getting more money from me. But after that, I was like, I know, I bought the gloves. I shouldn't have, but at that time, there was not that many motorcycle shops in this area. So I just went ahead and bought the gloves because I needed them. And I was like, fuck it, whatever. And I bought the jacket online. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. I'm not paying $200 for a jacket in his store. I don't want to give him the business. That's some bullshit. You don't do that. And um, that was my first experience. The second experience, I was trying to sell my 250. And, you know, we called on the phone, or we were talking on the phone. Um, I told him that I need this much. And he's like, okay, we'll put it in our store for contingency. Uh, and if it sells, it sells, and he collects 500 bucks out of whatever it sells for. And I was like, cool, whatever. Uh, and then the very next day, I got an offer on the bike. So I decided to keep it. And I called him. He was out of town, so I called him saying that, you know, I'm going to keep the bike. Again, he cussed me out. He's like, we had a deal. No, we didn't, bitch. We didn't have no deal. Oh, dude, this guy's stomach hitting the steering wheel over here. Hmm. Douchebag's problem over here, man. A 60 year old cussing out a 23 year old, 24 year old. I'm like, you're, you're stupid as hell, first of all. We didn't have any contracts signed. I talked to you over the phone for like two minutes. That doesn't mean anything. If I decide to sell to somebody else, I decide to sell to somebody else. You don't just, you don't force yourself on people. Uh uh. That was a big no-no in my book. So after that, I just stopped going there altogether. I was about to leave them a bad Yelp review, but I'm like, nah, fuck it. I'm not that mean. But I should've. Looking back, I think I should've. And right now, the shop I'm going to uh, does the same exact things. They sold my 250 within a couple months. And you know what? He does a lot of shit that makes me appreciate small business owners shit that the other shop didn't used to do and if people ever say why don't you go there well i got a couple stories no fucking cussing me out over a helmet man come on man come on it's a helmet some bs